I've not been moved to the place of compassion as my Lord and my Savior has been moved to compassion. But as you study the life of Jesus Christ and the beginning of His ministry, you find Scripture after Scripture that says He was moved with compassion. Right. Amen. And that compassion moved him. This was God Almighty. Uh, it robed in flesh. Amen. And, and the situation of people caused him to get to a place to where he said, Hey, I, I know I'm God. I know that I am Almighty. But hey, I want you to know I'm moved with the infirmities, the bad things in your life. Son, moved yes. with compassion. Amen. Moved with compassion. You go to Mark chapter 1 and verse 40 and you read the, the story of a leper. Amen. And I want you to understand leprosy was a nasty, dirty disease. As a matter of fact, when you got leprosy, as you walked down the road, you had to start saying, unclean, unclean. And so nobody would come around you. Uh, how would you like that? Uh, amen. You see, they thought leprosy uh, and they failed. And it was a, a commandment that had been given them because it was an infectious uh, disease. And so they had to tell people, hey, get out of the way. You can't come near me. As a matter of fact, they couldn't be touched by another. Because if I touch someone uh, who had leprosy, then all of a sudden I'm considered uh, unclean. As Jesus was walking down the road, the leper come to Him, begging Him, kneeling down to Him. And He says, if you're willing, you can make me clean. And the Scripture in verse 41 says, and Jesus moved with compassion, put out His hand, and the Scripture says, He touched Him. Right. You know, all of a sudden, hey, He's unclean. He has an infectious disease. But you want to know what? Jesus was moved enough with compassion to reach out and to touch that leper. It didn't matter what anybody said or what anyone saw. They saw that Jesus was touching someone that was unclean, but it didn't bother Jesus because He knew He had enough power to overcome that uncleanness. I want you to know this world is full of sin. There are people who are covered with infectious disease and it's an infectious disease of sin. And so many times we want to say, oh, we're pretty. We're alright. I can't be around that kind of people. Touch that kind of person. Folks, it's time we get off of our high seat and we realize if Jesus was moved enough to touch the lowly, you and I have got to be Amen. moved enough. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I shared with church on Wednesday night uh, of how on the way to church when I was growing up, uh, my mother would always pick up uh, this man who attended our church uh, faithfully. Uh, uh, and his name was Everett. Uh, Everett uh, lived alone. He was a single man. Uh, uh, he was an older gentleman. Uh, but Everett had a problem. Uh, his problem was uh, that he didn't bathe real regularly. And Everett, I, I tell you, when he would get in the car, it would smell very, very bad. But my mother would always stop the car if she saw Everett riding on the way to church or if he was standing around outside the church when it was time to leave. She would always ask him, do you need a ride? And she'd pick him up and he'd get in the car. And my sisters and I, if we were sitting in the back seat, we would try to scoot over as far away as we could from Everett. We would talk about how bad he smelled. But I want you to know we've got to be, it doesn't matter how somebody smells. It doesn't matter where somebody has been. It doesn't matter the kind of sin that their life is full of. I want you to know we've got to be moved with enough compassion that it says, I don't care if it gets my car dirty. I don't care if it takes my time. I don't care what it does. I've got to be moved with the compassion that Jesus Christ was moved with. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 20, verse 29. Amen. It says, Now as they went out of Jericho, a great multitude followed Him. And behold, two blind men were sitting by the road. And when they heard that Jesus was passing by, they cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, Son of David. And then the multitude warned them that they should be quiet. But they cried all the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, a Son of David. So Jesus stood at the steel and He called them and said, what do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Jesus, uh, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. And verse 34 says, So Jesus had 
Well, let, let's all get on this together. Verse 34 says, So Jesus had compassion. Yes, He was moved with compassion. But I want you to know what preceded Him being moved with compassion was that individual realizing that they were in a mess and they needed somebody to do something for them. Jesus was moved with compassion once that person called out and said, Oh Lord, I need Your help. I want to tell somebody today, if you want God and He is moved with your situation and your scenario, but if you want to get help for your problem today, you're going to have to come to the realization that you need help. Amen. Right. And not only that you need help, but you're going to come to the place to where hey, I not only do I need it, but I'm not uh, so proud that I'm not going to throw up my hands and I'm going to call out, Lord, have mercy on me! I need you to reach down and touch me where I'm at. Yes. Lord, and you want to know why? After he was moved with compassion, he touched their eyes. And you want to know why? Their eyes were open. Yes. What happened to the man with leprosy? After Jesus touched him, he was moved with compassion. You want to know why? The leprosy was gone. Amen. I want to tell somebody today, whatever it is, the bad situation, the scenario, the sin, the addiction in your life, once you call out to the Lord, once the Lord is moved with compassion, He's going to erase it, He's going to remove it, and He's going to make everything the way that it ought to be. Hallelujah. And the beautiful thing is you read this scripture. It says, and immediately they received their sight and they followed Him. God does a lot of beautiful, wonderful things for all of us. I mean, how many times have you been touched by the Lord and He's been moved with compassion and you walk out of this place, but unfortunately, you don't follow Him. 